Pinash ba si Faith na kanyang mga fans nung siya ay aalis ng Ateneo? Well, there's no emotions when you're doing major decisions talaga. Ah, kasi galit ako dito kaya alis ako. Everyone knows why. Sana wag na kayong maiyak kasi wala lang sa Ateneo. I'll do my best to, for her to perform good and be and become a star. About allies and brothers. Mm. And some were saying that she should have played more during the game. Everyone has the treatment they deserve. If the guys want to want to, to talk something to me, they have to pay the ticket. No one who, you, you don't have to prove any. You cannot be selfish. Just get the result and bring back a year forever. I can't. I cannot. Nandito tayo ngayon sa San Juan Sports Arena to interview one of the controversial volleyball players of UAAP. Sinasabi nila could have been one of the best kung nabigyan lang ng tamang pagkakataon. At nga, kilalanin natin si Faith Misperos. Come with me, put your hands together, tara, let's be happy. tayo ngayon. Ngayon si Faith. Mamaya abalahin natin siya. And on the other side of the court is Coach Jorge, the controversial coach of the Philippine team. Tuwa lang ako kasi meron tayong mga nakikita dito sa UAAP lang. Oh, ito na. Break time, I think. Hi, Bo! Hello! Hello! <laughs> Finally! So, we are going to see this kind of thing all throughout the game, I think. Definitely, she will be mad. Late in trying to close that block. And it was August here in the second set. Six total so far. We still have one year with the UAAP dapat. Meron nag-jump ka. It's a professional. The decision really started with me. Na after last season, of course, um, na paisip isip ako. Ano bang next for me? And uh, I don't have all the time in the world. But then yet again, I have all the time in the world. So that kind of mindset for me, mas sabi ko, I want to improve more in a shorter span of time. Nakakadabi, sumunod sa you in the future. Malalo ka siguro yung mga schools. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I don't need to start a trend, but... <laughs> everyone knows why. I guess, even if I don't have to say it, they know why I want I, I jump. This is not the goal kasi mag-pro. The goal is to go international. Of course naman, to go there, you have to make certain decisions and certain moves nga na people might not understand. I know naman na it would be better if I was there to lead them. But thinking na maybe it's best na I step up so they could lead themselves. Pinaligan ko nga, alis ako para sila naman. Manginayang, no? Hindi ako nanginayang kasi I know this is a part of a bigger plan. So, binash ba si Faith na kanyang mga fans nung siya ay aalis ng Ateneo? Well, of course, karamihan na heartbroken. And mas, mas naiyak sila kaysa nagalit or yun nga, nung when I decided to leave Ateneo. And I actually saw a video of a kid na uh, yun nga, who's crying kasi nga ay wala na daw ako sa Ateneo. Oh, Ateneo fans yun na Kari. Sana wag na kayong maiyak kasi wala lang sa Ateneo kasi isipin nyo na lang mas gagaling sa Ate Faith, di ba? When I saw that, syempre parang my heart was touched kasi may effect ako sa ganung mga bata at that age na who are looking up to me and yun nga, nasad sila kasi wala na ako doon where they first saw me play. It's a lot na makakloud. Makakloud yung pag-isip mo. Ah, kasi galit ako dito, kaya alis ako. It's not 
eh, that's not the right way of thinking talaga. And uh, yun, like emotions tapat there's no emotions when you're doing major decisions. My dad really um, pushed me into being an athlete. Kasi when we were kids, we would join mga fun runs as a family. Yun yung bonding namin. Grade 4, the volleyball coach invited me again. That's when my parents said, sige, go join na. At that point, napilitan ako kasi, ba't ako mag-volleyball eh? Mas parang, mas madali na mag-aral. Parang gusto ko mag-volleyball Victorian. I started to complain kasi nagkakapasa na ako. Like, dad, masakit talaga, ganyan. And then he would say na, iisin mo lang, masasanik ka din. Iniis mo? Yeah. Nung grade 6 po ako, um, we were asked, what we, what do we want to be in the future? And drawing po yun. Ang drawing ko, me in Ateneo Jersey, playing in Araneta. Always been my dream to graduate as a uh, Atenean. And of course, yung paglalaro, I could say that's a blessing na lang din. So, hindi ka na, hindi ka na sa color? Um, fortunately, uh, Ateneo will um, help me finish pa rin daw. Kasi that's the real championship of Ateneo. It's uh, athletes graduating. Four set points, Ateneo. Great setup! And a win! My mom, she resigned to work niya to go here. Um, Gumabit po ang high school, may dad naman. Um, Nag-resign na rin to work and went here when I was first in college. And it's, it's time to give back to them. Did you ever feel that way? Na parang, I should be coached better. We had to work with what we have. Of course, I'm also responsible for my own progress naman. Uh, knowing that my coaches did their best, and me, I tried to do my, give my best. But yun nga, it's still not enough because we didn't get to be on the top four. As they said, bilog ang bola, you're not always on top. Si Coach Jorge, the same coach who coached our Philippine team during the last few days. Ang dahilan daw kung bakit yung minimiti na sumalo sa Akali. Dati palang nakasama ni Chris, si Coach noong 2021 sa Asian Women's Volleyball. Why did you decide to go with Akari? Number one is really the vibe. I get the feeling. Because there's this certain feeling that you get when you meet certain people, right? And I've met with the management. I've worked with the coaches before. Uh, it was a light feeling. Like, I know na it's a safe space. Hindi ako matatakot to like initiate at the same time to make mistakes, yung ganong feeling as an athlete. And that's very important for me. I've worked with the coaches. Nabitin ako sa pagsasama namin. So, Coach Jorge, Coach Rav, Piki Grace. I've worked with them sa uh, national team. Coach Jorge as a foreign coach. Of course, there's a different perspective of playing volleyball, knowing his credentials as well. Sabi ko, marami ako matutunan dito, for sure. There is something na I might pick up from him that I won't pick up from any Pinoy coach. They're the ones na nandyan every day. They're like, they're the teachers of the sport po kasi. And me, as an athlete, I'm still a student to that sport. Parang kumbaga, every coach has a different lesson plan. And dun ako nag-subscribe kay Coach Jorge. 15 and she's doing it from everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> but this fellas finds a way to score. Away with authority. It's probably the Deta and Nieva. A good serve. By Hernandez, here comes Nisperos firing away. It's a tough decision for her to leave the, the AAP uh, because she has one more year to, to perform there. I, I'm very, very proud because her decision, because she has a lot of potential. And uh, has all, I, I know, I'm sure that all the coaches, the, they want to work with her. It's the, the faith is not only in the name, she has the faith in her heart. I'll do my best to, for her to perform good and be and become a star. I know that kind of harder, I know that kind of soft. Everyone has the treatment they deserve. For me, there is still not no social media. So if, if the guys want, to, want to, to talk something to me, they have to pay the ticket. 
and come here to, to say something. All the coaches, when they are coaches, you are the man to be the, the guy who uh, push for 100% all the time. So that means I'm one of them. Every day it's a different time to, to, to understand the volleyball in Philippines. It's different than every place that I worked before. I can assure you. About Eliza Valdez mm. and some were saying that she should have played more during the game. Yes, of course. I agree. She has two surgeries. The last one was less than two months. It's not enough time to be, to, to be okay. And uh, even as a coach, I have to protect the player also. She was there because she's the captain. She was there because she can work much more outside the court than inside. You can't injure your players if they've just come out from a surgery, right? I can't. I cannot, cannot be selfish. Just get the result and ruin her career forever. I don't know. <laughs> Ayun no, wala ka pa diyan. Wala pa, malapit na. <laughs> I aspire to be on top. Through my journey, I've learned how it is to be resilient and I know what it, what it is to be on top and what it is to be at the bottom. The real test being a resilient athlete is how much you could pick yourself up, how fast you could adapt you to be back on track. Mm. And most importantly, to never give up. Because once you've had the taste of both ends, kasi, it's easy to like ah, give up na lang when you're at the bottom. But that's the true test of your character. When you're at the bottom, what will you do about it? And you be you want to be on the side of those who didn't give up, who strive to like get back on their feet to be better for him and that's what's important and that's the most important lesson also of my career